the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Yes, it is still worth buying. Let me tell you why. With Black Friday and Cyber Monday rapidly approaching, you may be asking yourself if you should wait till the arrival of the Surface Pro 5 next spring or go ahead and cash in on all these deals offered on the current model and just get a Surface Pro 4. Right now there are some ridiculous deals on the M3 and i5 models. You can literally save about $400. Deals aside, I can still recommend the Surface Pro 4. It is still the best 2-in-1 available with pin support. Yes, I know you can go ahead and get the more powerful Surface Book, but in my opinion, that is a less of a hybrid. It's more of a traditional laptop. Yes, you can go ahead and separate that screen and use it as a clipboard or tablet, but the battery life of that is going to be terrible. You're really not going to have as good of an experience. The Surface Book is kind of like the Starship Enterprise. Sure, you can separate the saucer section, but do you really want to? I've been using the Surface Pro 4 now for about three months and prior to that I had a Surface Book and it is still my favorite device when it comes to two-in-ones. More and more it has been stealing usage away from my iPad. The only time I chose my iPad over my Surface is when I lay in bed and watch videos or just want to surf the web. For literally everything else it is Surface all the way. I've even grown to prefer the Surface Pen over the Apple Pencil. To me it just feels more natural on the screen. The Apple Pencil really is just too slippery. Even with a screen protector on, the Apple Pencil just doesn't have enough bite. The only thing I wish is that I could get the Procreate app on the Surface. If you're familiar with the iPad Pro and Procreate, it's probably the best drawing app that you can get for the iPad. The next best thing for the Surface is called Sketchable and I'll show you uh, some of the stuff that I've done and show you the app here. But again, Sketchable, it's okay, but it just lacks a lot of the features I want from Procreate. So again, here's a couple of the drawings that I've done with Sketchable using the Surface Pen on the Surface Pro 4. Now the model of Surface that I have is actually the i7 version, which, which works really well for video editing. I shoot all my videos in 4K and I export them as 4K. So the Surface Pro 4 does a respectable job at handling it. So I've really got no complaints in that area. Now using Adobe Premiere Pro, as you can see with 4K video, um, it actually does a pretty darn good job of playback within Adobe, even at half um, scale or half quality. So it works well and when I do an export, and when I do an export, it doesn't take all day for it to encode. It actually does a respectable job uh, with the encoding. So finally, uh, the only bad thing or the one major complaint I have about the Surface Pro 4 is the battery life. For everyday browsing and watching YouTube, you can expect about five to six hours. However, when you do video editing or an extended drawing session, you can really only expect about three hours max, which is a bummer. I do have a external battery pack that I carry with me when I plan on being out for an expended, extended period of time. And uh, I'll put the YouTube card out for that so you can check out that review. But um, it works well and unfortunately it is a big necessity if you do not have a wall outlet somewhere where you can plug in. If you plan on doing um, video editing or some kind of processor intensive task. So having said all that, I can still absolutely recommend getting the Surface Pro 4. So like I said, right now there are some outrageous deals, especially for Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up. You can get all kinds of bundles and save literally four to $500 on the Surface. So yes, the Surface Pro 5 will be coming out sometime probably in the spring, but if you can get a good deal on the Surface Pro 4, I wouldn't pass it up. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Thanks.